Why do I smell failure? Oh! But on a serious note, this is a true failure. As you guys can see here, this is actually one of my first few customs. Check this out over here. There are cracks in the paint. If I scrape it off, they're done. Hours of hard work, just gone, just like that. I just wanna, you know, show you guys the proper way to actually protect your customized shoes and make them as durable and waterproof as possible. Now that we have four pairs of shoes over here, we only need three other materials. First, we're going to use the acrylic matte finisher from Angelus, the duller, also from Angelus, and last but not least, paper towel. This is my way of protecting shoes and that's because I found that the Angelus brand has been quite reliable. There are other products that you can use and there are different ways that you can protect your shoes. Some people will use uh, matte finishers like this by rust or Krylon and they would you know just shake it and then spray the shoes. I feel more comfortable using products with the same brand to have to make the products you know work together. You guys can definitely give this a try and let me know how that goes but you have to spray several layers of it before you actually say oh it's complete right. Since this is acrylic paint I thought it would make more sense to use, you know, an acrylic matte finish. First step, shake it and uncap. Okay. Yo, my hand is red. Since I have another one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one first. Ah, oh, much better. Okay. Pour just, you know, a decent amount. So for the dollar, ooh, this came from the dollar. So what the dollar actually does is to make the matte finisher a little bit less shiny. So Angela's matte finisher, it's a little bit glossy um, when you just use it. So that's why you have to apply a little bit of a dollar. So for this custom, I just used the matte finisher and I didn't apply any dollar to it. So there is a little bit of a shine to it right here. According to the instruction, you can only add five to 8% and it's good enough already. So I'm just gonna apply droplets of dollar. If you use too much dollar, your shoe is gonna look really chalky and basically it's gonna have a lot of dandruff on your shoes and it's not gonna protect your shoes at all. Now we take a piece of paper towel. You gotta make sure that there are no uh, hair or any other debris on it. Dip it in here and just dab on it. It looks kind of milky. Make sure, give it a good coverage. Make sure that the shoe doesn't have any dust as well because once the matte finisher dries, the dust is gonna get stuck and it's not gonna look clean. Now you only need to cover the part where there's paint. If you guys haven't seen the custom to this shoe, I'll link it to the video in the description below. As you apply the finisher, make sure not to touch it because it's a little bit sticky and you don't really want it to be on your hands. And who knows if your hands have any debris or dust on it, right? Just, you know, even it out. Try to get rid of any bubbles, as you guys can see. And once you're done with that, you can set aside your finisher and use a hair dryer to dry the shoes. Set the mode to hot. It dries pretty quickly, it literally dries in like 30 seconds. So all you have to do now is to apply it three more times. I don't know if you guys have a thick uh, paintbrush, but if you do have it and it's extremely clean, you can definitely use this one rather than a paper towel because eventually the paper towel is gonna break down. So if there are any uh, residues of paint from your previous project, uh, you gotta clean it extremely well. I think an effective way to get rid of the matte acrylic finisher is to use acetone or just, you know, nail polish remover. And speaking of nail polish remover and acetone, you would need to use that to prep your shoes uh, thoroughly before you customize. That way, the paint will actually stick on the shoe. Once you run out of matte finisher, just refill it with the same ratios. that the shoes are complete, let's give these guys a test. It's not coming off, see? Uh, let's flip over to this side. What about this one, see? Nope, we good. And there's a flexibility to it, as you guys can see right here. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, share this video to whoever needs this, and let me know what you guys have in mind in the comments down below. Feel free to ask anything, and I got more content for you guys, so stay tuned.